Hello everybody and welcome to our lower body routine. It's a 10 minute workout, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, only 10 exercises with no repeats. You might be wondering why I'm already moving, but this is the sped up portion is just an optional warm up. So if you would like to, you can rewind to the beginning, see what exercises I'm doing and do each one for about 30 seconds for a warm up if you have time for that. If not, we're gonna get started in just a few seconds with side to side lunges. So if you wanna get into position, we're gonna start with a pretty wide stance. So feet wider than hip width apart by quite a bit. And then we're gonna go into that movement. So it'll be core tight, weight is in your heels, and then you're gonna lower down into a side lunge and one side, come back to center, and then lunge down to the next side. An option for a modification would be standing side leg lifts if that feels more comfortable for you. But yeah, you're gonna keep those legs moving, core tight, and do those lunges until 45 seconds is over. So you've got this. Thank you for being here with me. I just had my daughter give me a high five. Uh, she is 20 months old. Her name is Livia. My name is Allison. And I just want to thank you again for being here, doing this workout. If you wouldn't mind, I would love it and appreciate it so much if you would give this video a like, a thumbs up. It really helps my channel, really helps my videos. So thank you so much for doing that, even though it seems like such a little thing. Great job on that first exercise. We are going to be going into a move called a gate swing next. So it's a squat and then you step over and behind. And with each rep, we're going to alternate which leg we step over and behind with, as you'll see there. Side note for modification, if you would like to, you can take the squat out and then just do the stepping over and behind, squeezing the glutes, or you could do a knee raise into a step over and behind. All right, very good. Don't forget to keep that core tight as we continue working those leg muscles. Nice job. First two exercises are done. Go ahead and march it out. I'm telling my daughter to not touch my laptop because then she would stop the timer again. I'm just moving my mat out of the way because we are going to do a plie squat. So toes are pointing out at a 45 degree angle squat and then drag that foot towards your other foot. So really engaging the inner thighs. Also, if you would like to, you can take the squat out completely and just do the foot drags to engage the inner thighs. She fell down. If you're wondering what I'm doing, the rug moved on her and she slipped. So yes, you can see that I'm really dragging that foot across the floor, but if you don't want to do the squat, you can just do the foot drags. It's a great option, great modification. So keep going for 10 more seconds. You're doing so good and you're almost done with the third move. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. If you need to get water, you can. If not, just go ahead and march it out. Gonna keep that heart rate up in between exercises. We are going to go into a curtsy lunge with a side crunch next. So go into the curtsy lunge, which is a lunge that is over and behind. So instead of going straight back, you're going back still, but over to the side. Love this move. And then if you would like to, you go into the crunch. If you want to just do alternating curtsy lunges, that's also an option, or you can do just the standing crunches. Always lots of options, always room and encouragement to do what works best for you. We're just trying to move here, move our bodies, get energy and work on our health, our mental health, whatever it is that your goals are for fitness. We're trying to do that here and sometimes that looks like 10 minutes. So I am so happy to be able to help you fit and work, working out fitness into your life. That's what I love to do. I love when fitness just clicks for somebody. And as a work from home mom, I love being able to help fellow moms do that. All right, moving on, reverse, reverse lunge. So reverse lunges on both sides and then jumping up. You can do the reverse lunges and then stand up and just reach up. You don't have to do the jump. Oh, watch out for your daughter if she's walking around. <laughs> 
So two lunges back, jump up or just stand up. You can also do kickbacks instead of lunges. Do whatever works for you. This is a little bit of a cardio burst, getting the heart rate up as we are halfway through our workout here. This is exercise five of 10. 10 more seconds, keep it up. You're doing so good, almost there. Seven more seconds to go, and then we're gonna get some water and march it out. All right, keep marching, but the next move that we're going to do is a body weight deadlift. So weight is in your heels, lean forward until you feel that pull in the back of your legs, and then squeeze the back of your legs and the glutes together and bring those hips forward as you come back to standing. It's the same movement that you'll see me do in other videos. I just usually use dumbbells, but for this workout, I wanted this to be a body weight workout only as far as what I'm showing. If you want to use weights for this, you absolutely can or any other type of fitness equipment that you might have. Always a great option. Oh, my daughter was about to stop the timer again. She had already done it a couple times. So yeah. All right. Three, two, and one. Very good. All right. So that was exercise number six. We are Really working through these moves. Exercise seven is going to be a squat into a side leg lift. Also, modification, it's super easy to just take out the squats if those aren't comfortable for you, and then just do the side leg lifts. Or if you would like to, you could do knee raise into a side leg lift. As long as you're alternating and working both sides evenly, you're good to go. So let's keep working. After this, we've got three moves, and then you've already done your workout. The cool thing about this too is if you wanted to do a longer workout, you can do these exercises as many times through as you wanted. So just rewind back to the beginning, do it again one more time, two more times, whatever works for you, however much time you have today. Go off how you're feeling, what is your body telling you? But yeah, if you've just only got 10 minutes, then this is your workout. Three, two, and one. Very good. All right, so we are going to keep moving. On to exercise number eight. And we are going to do kickbacks and we're doing a three pulse count. So you'll see that I do my kickback. I'm lifting my leg up, squeezing my glutes, but then I'm holding it for one, two, three, and down, moving on to the next side. So keep that core tight as we work those legs, super working the glutes, pulse up, two, Three. Great modification would be to hold on to a chair in front of you so that you have that balance portion taken care of and you can just focus on working those legs. All right, my friends, going down to the floor for some donkey kicks. So heel is up. I like to pretend that I'm trying to bring my heel to the roof. And these are also three pulses. So very similar to what we were just doing. Obviously the move is different, but it's still those three pulse counts. So try to keep that foot flat with not your toe pointed up. So foot flat, like you're driving that heel through the ceiling. My daughter is feeding me pretzels right now, which was super funny. And then, uh, yeah, <laughs> she was, you'll see that she leaves and she was about to mess with the laptop. And then I'm like, no, come back. Can I have another pretzel? <laughs> Even though I didn't really want it, but that was a great distraction. All right. Very good. All done with that move. That was exercise number nine. See here, I'm begging for another pretzel. All right, so next we have exercise number 10. This is how we're going to wrap up our workout. So we're staying on hands and knees again. Similar move, but now we're going to do hamstring curls. So leg out and then squeeze it in, bringing that heel towards the glutes. At about halfway through, we will switch to the other side.
All right, go ahead and switch legs. You got 20 seconds left in this workout. Keep doing those hamstrings now on the next leg. You're almost there. Got 13 more seconds, and then we are going to be done. And I will say that I am going to add on an optional cool down and stretching just like I did with the optional warm up at the beginning. Three, two, one, go ahead and stop. All right, slowly get up from the ground unless you wanna stay on the ground and kind of stretch a little bit. Maybe you have your own stretches that you like to do, but like I said, I am gonna add some at the end here. They're gonna be sped up again just to keep the video shorter, but if you'd like to use them, you can, but I just encourage you to keep moving throughout the rest of your day. If you can fit some stretching in, even if you can't do it now, fit some stretching in later in the day to help those legs to recover. Keep drinking that water. And yeah, I just hope that you have a fantastic day. Again, thank you so much for doing this workout. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and we will see you next week. Side note, there is a super cute <laughs> moment in the uh, cool down where I'm stretching and Livia comes over and grabs my chin and wipes my face, which is obviously something that she has seen and felt me do to her many times. So I was completely unexpecting it. She's never done anything like that before and it was just hilarious. So even if you don't have the time to do the stretches right now, if you want a good laugh, keep watching and see her wipe my face for me. <laughs> All right, have a fantastic day. See you next week. Thank you and fantastic job.